Back to it. What you got here? Research and records. Object and item distinctions. Examination of para natural topics. Object of power and altered item distinctions. Summary. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities. See file put put blah, blah, blah. Uh, Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the affiliation of with the objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates the evaluates who can and cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of, objects of power are much more paranaturally than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. Hmm. Right, altered items and objects of power do mean different things. So there is a canonical explanation, or not necessarily an explanation, but an indication that people do get transported to this other world whenever they touch an object of power. So the, my little tutorial I'm playing every time I find a new object of power is a thing that's like witnessed in universe and other people have experienced it. If they're worthy, I guess. Keeping an eye out for documents. Oops. To do. Weapon mods full. Don't you love this feature? It's great. Uh, 24 out of 24. So these are all the new ones. Spin rate. Uh, spin rate of fire, shatter projectile, damage while aiming, charge velocity. They're getting rarer. Lo look at these guys, level 3, 4, and 5. Like, everything's been, like, level 1 or whatever so far. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna be a little haphazard with this just so I can move on with my life a little bit. Let's sell the level 1s. That's one thing I can do. It'll buy me a little time. Still very frustrated that they don't fucking sort these by type. Or really by anything. Just let me sort them, you lunatics. Have you ever had a game? Have you ever, like, seen an inventory before? Because this is some app This is like some amateur Mass Effect 1 stuff going on right here. Or back in 2007. It's actually really reminiscent of Mass Effect 1. And hey, that's not a deal breaker. Mass Effect 1's one of my favorite games ever made. It's inventory's poopy butts. Reminder, this week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. If you do not comply, you will be fired. You know, if you if you survive. Weird how it just soaks my first bullet. The first bullet I send into that thing just doesn't puncture it at all. I think these aren't legible. Yeah, you can see interactors from further away usually via the dot. But yeah, it's really reminiscent of Mass Effect 1, because it's, it's a bunch of spammy items that are really similar and bordering on identical, but you still have to do the busy work of looking through them, because you don't want to miss out on upgrades when they finally do happen. But also, you have a cripplingly small inventory, so it's just going to keep filling up very frequently, and you have to keep managing it, and it's just not a very interesting addition to the game. Honestly, this just doesn't seem like a game that should have any kind of progression mechanics at all. They just, like, don't have loot. This game should just have objects of power and nothing else. 
ga uh, jamming our RPG mechanics and collectibles into every single game doesn't make them better. It's just busy work. But I think some focus group somewhere determined that, like, if you have more RPG mechanics, people feel like they're more enriched by the experience. Oh, look at all this progress I'm making. And so it makes, like, this seems to be a standard AAA feature now, no matter what. No matter what genre it is. They just put them in anyway. We're like, I, I can have my immersive, cinematic, cool, story-driven, sci-fi, X-Files shooter where I occasionally get a new ability without any other mechanics. Like, you don't have to have... I don't need to have a uh, skill tree, and I don't need to have loot items. The, 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 those, those ideas don't complement the structure of this game at all. Holy shit, I can't see. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck. All right. That went bad fast. I straight up didn't see the attack kill me. <laughs> There's a so it's somebody shooting rockets at me. I'm having trouble spotting them. That's a problem. Oh, this fight's back, isn't it? No. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Headshot. Are they all dead? I thought... I thought there was like three of them left, and then they were just all gone. Weird. But yeah, I'm an RPG j channel. So like... If, th if these were mechanics that actually complement every game, no matter what, I would be the target demographic for thinking- for like, being, oh my god, RPG mechanics, I love this! And uh, so, if I'm the guy that's saying, chill out with your RPG mechanics, that might mean you should chill out with your RPG mechanics. Because, like, I'm the tar- I'm, as far as I can tell, the target audience for those kinds of mechanics, and I'm like, no, go away, you don't belong here. At least Nintendo knows better. They don't make Mario games where you pick up a bunch of different hats with plus one and plus two percent jump power. And you have and you have 50 hats that all have the same fucking stats, but you gotta sell them all off to fill it, to keep your inventory clear for your future hats that all might have because maybe the next one will have five percent jump power. So you gotta keep your clear inventory clear for when that happens. It's like, no. I want to run- I want to run through the crazy non-Euclidean geometry land, pick up documents, read about weird objects of power, and telekinesis things off of cliffs, and then see the next cool visual, and take part in platforming and shooting challenges. Anything else is just getting in the way of that clean idea of what the game's supposed to be about. I love the delayed reaction as each one slowly goes off. It's like, it's like freaking... <laughs> there it goes, yep. It's like popping bubble wrap. There it goes. I can't, if, you, if you're somebody who didn't spend a bunch of your playthrough of this game just shooting random shit, I can't relate to you as a person. <laughs> How could you not do that? Of course you would do that. Huh? It occurs to me this is like... Or is that what time it is? No. Are these coordinates? Departure times? 
They're all around the world. It almost looks like... I don't know. Is there a local document that explains this area a bit better? We're in logistics. They're all falling off as I run across. Uh... Hmm. Are they phone numbers? What are these? It's not time zones. It almost looks like something you'd see at like a airport. Like these are probably time zones. But I'm not sure what this is. Is it their other HQs? Is it readings of some sort about like the paranatural mechanics that are around the areas? This is a pretty big, sprawling area. S that's a different face. Smiley, toothy face. Tropic Echo. My character was like, why aren't you in a shelter? But to be fair, I've seen basically no one in shelters so far. I keep opening shelters all the time. But only the first only the shelter from the beginning of the game that had our go-to Lord Dumper character in it actually had somebody in a shelter. The rest of the game, the shelters are just full of whatever. Sometimes they're even full of bad bad bad. They're often full of plagues and other things. Waste mannequin. The item was last owned by Madame Blah Blah Blah, an operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to Blah Blah Blah, Maine for reasons unknown. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals report that she rarely left her home in the short years she spent in... Berlin 2 Electric Boogaloo. After her death caused by Ich bin ein Berliner, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness saw numerous mannequins break through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights, some report high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Huh. There was a bunch of floating mannequins and people were crushed to death? Ooh. All of the insides all came crashing out, except for the ones where I actually shot. I shot the pistachio and it stayed there, funnily enough. There's bulletproof pistachios. Is that an object of power? The bulletproof pistachios? Where am I going? That way. I'm kind of just wandering. Gotta be careful. Very easy to just kind of loop on yourself indefinitely. This place is fucking huge. Not always easy to be completionist about these places. We'll see. Ideally, I'll get a series of objectives that encourage me to go to various parts of this place, and then that's how I'll find all the documents. For now, I'm I'm thinking I should head towards my objective and see what I can do with that. Am I about to be attacked? I'm hearing noises.
That's not great news. Must be a way to get around security, but also maybe a way to breach security. The fence does not seem so easily destroyed. Oh, God. Hey, can you guys blow this place up so that I can get inside? Please? Please? I want to read the document over there, but I can't get the security. Hilf me, hilf me. Ow? How did you shoot me? Uh, really? I didn't think your rockets could make it through here. Anyway. Oh, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Kill them. He'll probably clear them out. Maybe. Yeah, this place seems pretty indestructible. They've been blowing it up and it really hasn't amounted to much. Unfortunately. Medical wing. Hello. Help me. Rank six. Got him. Seems chill in here. Well, they're trippy. They're, they're all squishy looking, like they're shorter than normal. Like they've been squished down. Ah, that's a bad look. Yeah, that's not good. That boats poorly all around. Shkadoosh. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, gah, gah. Oh, god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Did I get them all? Oh my god, I just turned around and it was just a fucking horde. Wow, that was actually creepy. To just turn around and see that many of them. Mold autopsy. The deceased was a blip year old with no significant past med uh, medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal based in its appearance. During autopsy, autopsy, blah, blah, blah. During autopsy the cadaver's plural ca cavities were revealed to be entirely filled with fungus known as the mold, to an extent that the medical staff were forced to put on decontamina decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles. <laughs> Presumably, but not provably, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body seems to be noted. Needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold, and ingestion. The oldest people gave in to the mold being eat eaten. And yet she didn't... I don't think she warned me, and that bothers me. Ah! Step it! Ah! Jesus! They home like crazy. 
This is a hostile environment. Please give me the pill now. These showers? Decontamination showers, I guess? Probably. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. The commander has gone ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Told you I was a Mass Effect fan. I don't need to go the right way. It's all about that per career. Am I going anywhere right now? Oh, the medical wing. That's not very helpful. That said, I don't know how to get to this, where my brother is anyway. Oh wait, no, there's a bridge right there. Okay. I was gonna say, it looks like it's just a giant floating island that's separate from everything else, but I see the, I see the bridge now. That I gotta find my way to. I'm curious what kind of character he's gonna turn out to be. Hopefully he doesn't just die immediately, as characters often do. If you're the character that the main character is pining after in a video game, like, oh, I gotta go find that person. Oh man, it's my, it's my one calling. Like, that person so frequently dies the moment that the character finds them in, the, in different games. They have a terrible survival rate. <coughs> so here's hoping the, for the best. I'm on the wrong side of the area again. Yeah, it's rank seven. Almost missed you. Wolf Globe. No unique procedures required, however, contact, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on all axes, while the contents while the continents and oceans are all recognizably those of Earth. Careful examination has revealed numerous and other geological additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it, named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its marker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and desperation. Or depression. Suicide has been observed in handlers. M wow. That was plural. Plural. They're like, uh, yeah, it, they, they really like buried the lead there for a while there. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, there's some disorientation here and there. You know, limit your contact with it. Uh, multiple cases of suicide right there at the last line. Just kind of held that off for as long as they could before bringing that up, apparently. Kind of important information. Kind of a big deal. Kind of wildly distressing. As it turns out. Multiple cells. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Uh-oh. What is that gonna mean for us? Hehe. <laughs> Oh, we're behind security now. There we go. Shortcut. Don't have to go around anymore, I suppose. Uh, this whole time it was just loot. I didn't look that closely. I thought it was going to be... Uh, lore. Yeah, these, uh, the items are getting colorful, which I think indicates higher and higher ranks. I feel like we stayed at rank 1 and 2 for so long, and suddenly we're like, 3, 4, 5. Here we go. Oh, hi, Dylan, I assume.
I always dig this place. I take it things are going well for you. One of you just unlocked over here. Yep. Casino? What state are we in? Nevada? There's, something, there's gonna be something wrong in each room, isn't there? Oh, key. Key to the diamond door? That's always neat. That was a quick one. It's, always it's like, been okay. a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man? Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, that, that comb over is not working. That's not working at all. Got any documents for me? No. Nope. So all of his cameras are also looking at the guy who's been breached. What you singing about? Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director. Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello. I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state of the art repository for all altered items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We we've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. You say not to touch anything, but I'm probably going to shoot a lot of things. In the next performance review, I have a cat to feed. I'm probably going to shoot a lot of things just for fun. Let's be honest.